Hey guys! This video was actually recorded a really long time ago, which you can probably tell when I say things in the first clip, like we don't have online school yet and I don't know if AP tests are going to be running. Um, it's actually late June now as I'm editing and posting this, and most of this was recorded in late March or early April, so if you notice weird things that I say that obviously now us older and wiser people are looking back at and laughing, that's why I'm saying those things. In addition, um, I will be popping in and out a little bit throughout the video just because at the time this was my first real sewing project, my first real video, and so I wasn't really super good at explaining things. But now that I'm posting more sewing videos and getting into more sewing projects, I wanted to upload this one first just because I feel like it's a good first project to look back on and I have done a lot of sewing over quarantine so I wanted to start with the first project, which is this one. I hope you enjoy watching me create my prom dress during quarantine and that you all had a lovely fake prom as well. So I will see you later in the video. So this is now officially my COVID-19 prom dress making video. Um, so this was initially just gonna be my like how I made my dress for prom video, but um, prom's canceled because of the coronavirus. Um, but I already bought all the fabric and it's looking like we're gonna be on lockdown for several weeks. We currently don't have online school, I don't know if that's like normal or not for where people are at right now. Um, but we do not have <laughs> any online school or anything and it's unclear whether AP tests or anything are even gonna be running. Um, and so I have nothing but time right now. So I'm making my prom dress anyways, um, even though prom is canceled. The issue is I just took a whole bunch of components of different dresses that I liked off Pinterest and tried to like throw them together. So in terms of like having a pattern where all of the pieces like fit or can be sewn together with like straight seams, we're kind of having issues. But yeah, so this is like the sketch that I'm currently working off of. So here I've just put in some of the dresses that I used as inspiration and kind of highlighted the parts of it that I ended up using in my overall pattern. This is where you can kind of see stuff going wrong because obviously the midriff section for the top of it is very angled and then the skirts are all A-lined. So when I was trying to put those together, you had to kind of gather the edges. It was super weird. So this is the sketch I actually ended up going with and you can see by where I've highlighted kind of some of the different components that I ended up using from the other dresses. Originally when I made this sketch I actually didn't think I was going to have time to do all the beading but now that we're on quarantine it looks like I'm going to have time. Okay so I've just gotten the top front sewed to the midriff piece and the seam actually isn't that bad. I'm pretty proud of that. Um, and if I'm holding it where it's gonna sit, it fits pretty well. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, the trick now is just going to be getting this piece of fabric to look like that. So I have this side of the bodice pinned, this side is sewn on. The pleats aren't perfect. I'm trying to fix this one that's kind of gone a little wonky. I think I'm close to having the bodice done. So that's the skirt and that's pretty much done. I have to sew this together down to a certain point, at least so that, you know, I'm not exposing myself if the wind blows. I'm gonna go ahead and sew the top to the bottom and see how it goes, maybe try it on. So I've just finished pinning the invisible zipper in place um, and it's actually usually my least favorite part of a project, but the great thing about this dress is I can leave this whole side exposed, I can sew it as crappy as whatever, and then when the actual dress is pulled together, it's under so many ruffles that no one even sees the zipper. So I'm gonna sew this in super haphazardly and I will be back, and then hopefully we will have 
a whole dress that's all in one piece and could possibly even be worn. <laughs> so this is my first time trying it on top and bottom together without some obnoxious t-shirt or something under it. And this is what it looks like. I did end up putting this little embellishment on the back just to hide the top of the fold um, and the zipper, but yeah, I don't know what else to say. I really like it. Um, I'm going to iron it out and see what happens. So for whatever reason, I never recorded kind of a follow-up to that. I did end up fixing one of the side seams, which you might have actually been able to see me picking at in the last clip where I was trying it on. Um, it just wasn't laying right. I also have scoliosis, so sometimes stuff just hits my hips funny. Um, but whatever it was, I did go back and fix that seam. And I did take some pictures and videos of my prom. Of course, we didn't actually have prom or go out with people. Um, we were social distancing but I did get dressed up and come take pictures in my yard, both because it was my junior prom and because I wanted to be able to take pictures of this dress. So I will put those right here. And that is all I have to say about that. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's a little bit haphazardly put together. Um, it definitely was not the most thorough filming I've ever done, um, but it was a fun first project. I really liked how it turned out. And yeah, have a nice day.